Yo guys, what is up? Valkyrie Rollins on here, and welcome back to another Disney Infinity 3.0 news update. So, Disney Infinity 3.0 has already come out, and I've been playing it a ton and really been enjoying it. Sadly, I haven't been able to upload a whole lot of videos on it. I have a bunch recorded, but I haven't had the time to upload them in the higher qualities. So, I'm sorry for the lack of videos on that. I hope to get some uh, uploaded soon, but today we are going to be discussing some new news that came out for the Force Awakens playset for Disney Infinity 3.0. So, let's get right into it. So, this is the promotional advertisement picture that came out for the Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars The Force Awakens playset today. And it looks absolutely amazing. So this playset will hit stores on December 18th. But you are able to pre-order it today. So if you want this playset to be on your doorstep when the movie hits theaters, I suggest you go and pre-order it as soon as possible. Because I feel that this playset is going to be pretty amazing. So in this promotional picture we can see some of the characters that will be featured in this playset. So we've got Rey, Finn, Poe Dameron, and then the infamous Kylo Ren. We already learned about uh, Rey and Finn and saw what they looked like at D23 Expo earlier this year, but we have not yet seen Poe Dameron and Kylo Ren, and they look absolutely fantastic. So let's take a closer look at their characters. So, here is, uh, Finn. So, he's got his amazing blaster, which is rumored to be one of the most powerful weapons in the game, and is able to take out Jedi and Sith, even though it's only a ranged blaster weapon. He looks very awesome with his jacket, and all of their bases seem to be look like they're standing on some sort of stone walkway. Maybe the castle from where they possibly meet Maz Kanata. So that's kind of a cool little aspect of the figures that still is a mystery to us, but will be revealed in due time. Next off, we have Rey. We've seen her figure before, but this is a much clearer picture than all the ones we've seen previously. She's got her awesome staff and her desert garb, and she's looking pretty fierce in her warrior stance. I'm excited to play as her because she just looks really awesome, and I'm betting that using her staff will be really awesome. Next off, we've got Poe Dameron in his X-Wing pilot gear. He's holding his helmet, looks pretty ready for action. He's got his pistol. You can kind of see it a little bit better of what the new X-Wing pilot outfits are going to look like for the new movie. And they look pretty awesome. He's got the Rebel logo on his left shoulder. And then he's got a chest piece that's probably life support just in case the cockpit were to get damaged or something. But anyways, his character looks pretty awesome. Now here comes my favorite character of them all. We've got Kylo Ren. Very menacing. I love the way that they got his robes splaying out in mid-action. and He's got his fist clenched and his robe and his mask looks absolutely amazing. But the most detailed part of this figure that is the most amazing is his lightsaber. So as you guys have probably all seen the trailer several times, as have I, you know that his lightsaber is super unstable and is like spitting energy. If you look at his blade closely, you can see that there's energy like twisting around the blade. It's super cool. I'm glad they added that extra element of detail to his blade, making it all the more realistic and collectible item. Because these figures are very well designed. Now we are looking at... Uh, the packaging, so there's Poe Dameron in his uh, box with the card back, and then there's Kylo Ren in the box. They look like they might have had to like, 
position him off to the side or make the box a little bit wider to uh, incorporate his lightsaber into there. Anyways, now here is the playset packaging for the Force Awakens playset. So they got the background of Jakku, and you got Rey and Finn character, and then we got the really interesting clear playset piece in the middle. It's a First Order Stormtrooper helmet with the First Order logo, kind of positioned on some sort of maybe sand dune type thing, kind of looking like like Jakku, which is really awesome. I really like the look of this, and I'm super excited to play it. Now we've got our first screenshots of in-game. So this is Kylo Ren with his spitting energy blade, which looks even cooler in-game. As well as some First Order Stormtroopers getting ready to blast down the hallway of what looks like a First Order Star Destroyer. And in the background you can kind of see maybe a command center or something. But anyways, it looks absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. The lighting on the walls looks very reminiscent of the Death Star lighting. And just the floor grates and everything brings back that feel of the Empire. And then now we've got our second screenshot, which shows Ray, Finn, and Poe inside what looks like the wreckage of one of the Star Destroyers on Jakku. And you can kind of see the sand like streaming down in, through the cracks and the wreckage. And there's a crash TIE Fighters, and it looks like they're in some sort of hangar bay, and everything just looks wrecked and old and dirty, because this was... It's like 29 years after the Battle of Jakku, because the Battle of Jakku originally was one year after the Battle of Endor. And so everything's just been weathered since then. And if you look closely, you can almost see what looks like to be an objective marker from in-game, pointing to say that there might be something inside of this crate or this wreckage area. Just wanted to point that out. But anyways, the rest of the uh hangar you can kind of just see tons of scraps of tie fighters which is really awesome and brings back the the just feel and just seeing these characters stand in this hangar bay really brings on how immense these structures are and just having one actually crash onto the surface of a planet is just amazing and i'm really looking forward to just exploring around inside of a a wrecked Star Destroyer. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? But that wraps up our news for the Force Awakens playset. Hopefully soon we'll be getting a trailer for the playset, as well as the new Force Awakens trailer that should be coming out relatively soon. Pretty excited for that. But until next time, guys, take care and may the Force be with you.